Today, we are gonna take yet another look at the original school. Uh, in case you have no idea what this is about, the original school is basically a Trackmania school kind of club um, about the original cars. So about the snow car, about the rally car, about the desert car. Um, currently, there is one campaign for each car teaching the basics of um, the most common surfaces. So for snow, it's road and wood. And for uh, desert and rally, it is road and dirt. So basically with, uh, you know, they have like very simple maps with tutorials included uh, so you have like media tracker tutorials explaining what you have to watch out for as a beginner how you should play certain tracks etc etc very well made uh, i did already play snow and rally so if you haven't watched that make sure to do so and the cool thing is the campaign maps um actually have champion medals uh, as you can see we got them all on rally and we also got them all on snow uh, but yeah today it's time to check out the desert campaign we're gonna try to go for all medals again but it's gonna be really hard because desert is uh yeah often not too nice with wheel because of the tapping aspect so uh yeah could be really hard to get all champion medals i will try my best nonetheless so let's hop straight onto map one and there we are ladies and gentlemen so we have the normal medal times we have the champion medal and of course the world records and each single map has a tutorial when you drive backwards let's take a look introduction to desert welcome to a desert this car uh, likes to drive on two wheels when going fast try to control it as good as possible using either keyboard or controller as both of these are quite similar on road when it comes to skill ceiling to not tip over try tapping your steering rapidly steering by pressing a button rhythmic rhythmic rhythm, rhythm, or pushing an analog stick quickly okay yeah what do i do with wheel where is this, where's the wheel help wheel player is just in the mud Schade. So yeah, Kanchika with the... I can tell you we're not gonna go for world records here. I'm only trying to try to get the champion medals and I hope I can get them all. And uh, yeah. But I can of course try to mimic tapping with... Um, with uh, wheel as well. But yeah, it's very dank so I'd rather just not. But there we go. First champion medal in the pocket. Very nice. Very simple. We go. Next. O2. Driving on dirt. Uh, dirt roads act similar to road but may be grippier and are not flat on sides, which can be both an advantage and a disadvantage depending on the turn. The sides may be bumpy and tilt your car. Avoid them on sharper corners. Okay, Kanchika, dude, Kanchika, the desert abuser. Uh, what the hell? So let's see, how long do I need for German metal? That was the first BB. And yo, hello, casual pickup. I definitely want to go inside at this bump, and then not too far inside there. Okay, I need point 0.15, that's quite a bit. Okay, we're getting there, slowly but surely. If necessary, I might have to play some maps with keyboard could happen but we will see about that 41 okay slowly but surely getting there yeah it's all about this downhill i feel like okay oh okay that was with full four wheeling basically and i took wider lines but i got so much more speed out of it Okay, interesting that I pv with that. No, you guys don't want to hear me, but you have to a little bit. Because believe it or not... Oh, thanks God. Some people are actually watching the stream because of me. And not only because of you guys in the chat. Only some I know, but there are a few. Okay, next map though. Tilting. Yeah. Good map for Scrappy. Uh, every time you steer at a speed faster than around 150 to 200, depending on road tilt, your car will tilt a little. The more speed you have, the fast, uh, the faster it can tilt. The fastest way to drive this car is to not tilt too much or slide out. When you're unsure about going fast, first try taking it slow by releasing. You can also try releasing less than 100% to make... Okay, I'm just gonna drive. Okay, should be doable. Only need point 0.1. Okay. Okay. 
Hmm. Not sure about the line here. Ah! So close again. Yes, there is champion medals for track of the days. And this campaign also has it. Because, uh, well, why not? There you go. 781. Got him! 04! Small quarter pipes and techie turns. Driver by. driven by Nico. And this is probably a very quick time, yeah? Nobody has beaten this time yet. And this will be Keyboard Abuse of Doom. Because you need to tap in these turns here. Then it's just like this, okay. Yeah, the tapping could be an issue here, guys. But I can, of course, tap with wheel. Most uh, relaxing trick gameplay. gameplay. Okay, we're getting there. Wah! Okay, I cooked. That was good. Top 5, quite easily. Next. 05, the final white map, sort of. High speed turns, driver, Nico. Tapping or smooth steering is the only way you can get through these turns quickly. The boosts make them very difficult. Remember to release if you aren't ready to take the turn at full speed. Releasing is faster than tilting out. Body of the car hits the floor, losing plenty of speed. You are. Okay. Should be an uh, easy German medal to be honest. Because everything that is about two wheeling is uh, is good for wheel. So yeah, should be fine. Fuck. Now how do I get a Discord Twitch sub role? By connecting your uh, Twitch with your Discord. Quite simple. Peng. Nice. Easy. Okay. Fast entry into slow corner. Sometimes we need to release for a long time to pass a corner. Long meaning 0 to 7 to uh, 1 second. Braking is an option, but might start a slide. Not preferred. Okay, we're going in. This should also be an easy one for me. I love these roads. These roads are so cool, no? Like, they look really, really nice. Kind of like remake of the... Uh, of I wish they would have introduced these kind of blocks with the desert car. Like these are like the original desert roads kinda. They look really cool. So this should be easy peasy for me because it's smooth steering. I only lose a bit of time in the start with wheel basically. Okay you definitely have to release. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Ah. Man, 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 man. 07. Mini tech. Driving the vehicle can be made harder by the mapper in many ways. One of them is elevation changes. Doing downwards while. What? Going downwards while turning makes you more likely to tilt, while upwards less likely. Another way is to include jumps. Dropping usually makes the car tilt forward, and once the car lands, it might be it may be uncontrolled for a small period right after landing. Okay, we're going in. Not many people have this German medal here. So that is actually kind of cooked. Okay, not sure if you can do that full speed. Uh. <laughs> That's definitely not the correct line in the ending. Intro song of Baby Driver. Why is that ending so yik? <laughs> okay, quite easy one. We got it. Bang! I'm pretty sure, like, I'm just gonna skip right ahead now because I'm pretty sure there will be some maps where I will need longer. Gathering speed on, co yeah, for example this. Being exactly on four wheels gains you a little more speed than being on two wheels. You can exploit this on quarter pipes, driving on their slope, keeping full grip when they curve. This is way faster than taking the corner flat. Yeah, this, for example, will be uh, definitely hard with wheel. Not sure if possible at all, to be honest. 
because here you would wanna tap and it's a lot faster when you do so. Well, we'll see. This here is just full speed. Mm, okay. We barely got Nico's GPS here, yeah. Ah. Let's see if I can instantly improve with keyboard. Would be funny. Keyboard is so so overpowered on this. Ah, nice tips in the chat, guys. Tap more, tap less. I just lose it in this turn and I cannot keep the lead. Never mind, I can. Fuck this map. Ah! Really mad. Precision cruise. Here's a little break from technical knowledge. On this track, you can see how cruise control, which locks your speed below the speed you crossed it on, works and polish your precision, precision skill on a wide range of roadblocks, including inverted quarter pipe corners. Okay, we're going in. Alright. If it's just precision, then it's gonna be easy. And the blocks are really cool that they use here. This is all stuff Nadeo could have done. But no, it's the community who has to do the work again. And what did we get as blocks for the desert update? Oh, scenery hills. Wow. It feels, so, it feels so weird that you're not getting faster there. I already said it when we played the very first campaign. This is how the regular training campaign in Trickmania should look like. You know, in terms of explaining stuff and map quality. Do I still have to tap here now? Or is that... Is that like whatever? Yeah, why was this so much faster? Hmm. Okay. One of the best things about the internet. Come on, please be enough. Thank God. Man, man, man. Ah, that was a hard one. Map 10. Either the maps are super easy for me or they're not. <laughs> Long straights after very technical turns can increase the gaps between players. Uh, this is where the biggest time loss will come from. Okay, this map's gonna be easy, I can already tell. Um, experiment with release timings and try different lines, including the world record ones, to find something you can execute quickly. Tip, you can start releasing before the line that makes the transition from platform to road. Okay, we're going in. It's gonna be easy because we have a gigabig uh, two-wheel turn here. And two-wheeling means smooth steering is faster. Which means, good for Nico. Right, this is a big tap turn again. Ah, mini slide out. Ah, this is gonna be easy. Really mad, really mad. Really fucking mad, eh? And you do. Zack. Zero, eight. Okay. Easy. Next. Also, I have a red pool, guys. I didn't even open it yet. Yuck. Okay, next map. 11. 
Introduction to castle blocks. Castle blocks have slightly higher sides. Going from an elevated point in the road to the middle can cause a different reaction than driving on a usual road. On the other hand, it is easier to keep speed on all four wheels on the ground. Alright, we're on in. Okay, should be doable though. Okay. Definitely want good speed up the hill here, otherwise the mud is calling. Okay, got this up. Now we need quite a bit more. Gotta use some camera one here because I don't really see what lines are gaining me time and what aren't. Okay, that's gonna be hard actually. Hey, I improved. But I still need to gain way more. So it's just like two wheel mania here. Yeah, surely I can be fast with that as well. Ah, okay. Should I spoil you, Sammy? It was really exciting. If you wanna rewatch, there will be a video later today. I can also just tell. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, I just had some long lines mostly here. Engine off, yeah. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. Oh yeah, tap, tap, tap. Nice, I love myself some tap, tap, tap. Wait, this is... Um, this looks very much like a... Um, Desert campaign map from Trackmania United. If I'm not mistaken, it's a star desert map. Like from the star campaign. Okay. Hmm. Top to top. Top to top. Top top top, top top top, two wheel, top 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 almost enough. Oh there's a gear here. Gears usually don't matter a lot. But I'm pretty sure you wanna keep it though. There we go, 64, with keyboard, easy peasy. Next, keyboard, no action keys. Okay, what is this? Abrupt uphills. The tilting mechanics the tilting mechanics and steering radius of the desert car allow you to perform very quick turns with uphills, like at the end of this map. To perform this correctly, make sure to not be too tilted where the slope starts. Yeah, guys, don't tilt. If you need to brake, only brake either when you are already on the slope or way before it. Braking or oversteering in the wrong spot will cause slides. Do not overjump the road after. Okay. Didn't really pay attention to the ghost, so I'm just gonna try to go with whatever I think is the fastest. That's not the fastest strut. Oh, what the hell is this? We need a 10.2. You're already tilted? Scheiße. Can I get? What's gonna lie? This is kinda yak. Want to care? Oh, that was pretty good. Ah, 
that's of course not enough. Rage for more TikToks must be farmed. What about we farm TikToks with, uh, you know, wins and not fails? Wah! Masha fucking la! Holy shit! First world record! Dude, that was so good, what the hell? Zack! Next up! 14. Outside turns. Some turns, uh, some turns on... I cannot read today. Some turns on dirt might need to take a line close to the border. This means more distance to travel, but on the other hand, keeping more speed out of the turn. Allowing it to build up over the rest of the track. What tree plays better than yours? Not possible. Doesn't exist. Uh, or experiment to see where outside lines are viable. Okay. Okay, I made it to the extra part of the map once. Nice. We just outside turns. Guys, why are you keep doing this song, man? I don't want to taste the anus. Unless we're talking about your mama. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I timed out chili for 10 minutes, Johnson, because he told me to do it. Because he got a zero percenter. Oh my god, why is this turn the hardest part of the map? The thing is, like, the, 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 the map is about the outside turns, but they are by far the easiest and most irrelevant part. It's all about the tubular spot section in the start here. Like, it's so hard to survive this. Without sliding out, like, heh? And it's not about the outside turn. Yeah, yeah, so I survived it once. Surely this is enough for AT and I can just leave. And AT, I mean German Metal. Thank you very much. Holy shit, man. What an annoying map. Ah. Boosts on turns. Boosts require the car to have all of its wheels very flat on ground during the entire duration. Keep straight as much as possible on the boost as doing outside... Uh, I cannot read today. As doing otherwise will give massive speed losses. Slight tapping is possible, but it's important to keep the vehicle on the ground when the boost is applied. Alternatively, try steering to take the turn before the boost starts, to not have to adjust later. Oh, this could be a hard one. I feel like this could be a hard one. Well, let's see. We knew that before. Yeah, yeah, I know everybody knew that. <laughs> We're all aware, guys. Don't worry. Is Girl Lady a petrol head? IRL. Nah, my gr Girl Lady is absolutely clueless about cars. Like, all I can say about Grenade, uh, Girl Lady's car knowledge is always like, always when she tells something about a car, and she's like, oh yeah, my colleague has that and that car, or, like, has a cool car or something, and I ask her what car it is, then the usual answer is something like a red one. While, I, <laughs> while I'm asking for a model or something. <laughs> So that's, uh, <laughs> that's basically it, to summarize the car knowledge. Ah, it's because it's top, top, top. I love top, top, top. Amazing. First try keyboard again with a 0.14 improvement. I love keyboard. Woo. Fucking car, man. You do top, 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 and you're fast. Okay, next map. 16. We arrived in the red series. Flat slash bank transitions. Sometimes... Oh, nine. Top, top, top. Oh, my God. Biggest top, top, top turn ever. Sometimes the map will require you to match the tilt of your car to the banking so that you can transition to, to the next part of the route smoothly. A lot of time, this will be during a corner. Drive the corner as you usually would and watch out for the tightening of the exit where the transition is. Okay. Oh, my God. It's going to be a hard one, I think. Yeah. Oh no, it's easier actually, what the fuck?
Hä? That was so easy. This record is not great. Okay, easy peasy. Thanks. Uh, downhill turns. For turns with downhills, uh, uh, right after them, break or release right before the turn. The car needs to land flat on the downhill. This is a rare case where sliding can be fine as a way to lose speed. Just make sure you, you account for slides changing your vehicle's trajectory. Okay, we're going in. So this is a cool thing guys, because you can like tilt before one of these downhills to dip over the edge. I can show you real quick. But no, what I wanted to say, like you can use the tilt of the car like this to dip over the edge. Do you see what I mean? Like zack and then zack to reduce air time. Wow, banger song guys. Banger song, mashallah. Hey, yeah, Lars, <laughs> was a bit XCD. For next uh, time, we're gonna try to make it a bit more complex. My girlfriend asked me what taste I want, lemon or strawberry. I say strawberry, and she's like, strawberry? Nah. Why, is, why am I even getting asked? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Always the same. <laughs> For those of you who have girlfriends in the chat, I know there are not many of these in my chat. But, but is, is it the same for you guys? Do you guys, do you guys know that? Licks? Literally always. Nice. Mm. Okay, that was juicy. Oh, I got it. Yeah, hello. Also, yeah, I skipped the animation because I thought like, oh yeah, not enough yet, but it actually is. Okay, nice. Transitions. Try some different lines, also from world record, and jumps to see what you can execute. There are many different aspects that make up a good transition. Low air time, no sliding before or after the transition, smooth flat landing, speed before the jump. You may not always be able to take all into account, so experiment to see what feels best. Okay. I'm usually, I'm really good on transitional maps. Even though this is desert and I'm gonna be slow on it, I should still be fast enough. And if not, it's just time for keyboard abuser Nyko again. Easy. Fucking easy, man. Get out of my way. Easy fucking peasy. Bang. Literally first finish. Advanced over tilt avoidance. On some tilted corners, you may feel a sudden loss of grip. Counter steering, tapping the opposite direction of where you were. Turned, uh, yeah. Or just releasing the direction. Ex I cannot read today. Where the car loses grip is a good way to avoid that. Okay. Oh, this is like a very hard one. Ach, scheiße. That looks like a very hard one. Surely it's easy for you, yeah. What? I cannot improve? Okay. That is arguably a little bit unfortunate. 
Oh my god, this block is so dog shit! I cannot believe how bad that block is. Like, it is so bad to play with Desert Car. Ah! Fuck! Got him! There we go! Holy shit! My ending was Omega Chaotic, guys! <laughs> I don't know if you saw my ending, but it was Giga fucking dang. Okay, map 20! The final red map, sort of. Hope this one's a bit easier again. Reactor boost down. Uh, yeah. So a desert map with reactor down, I guess. Nobody is even close to Neko's time here. He has a 17.5. Oh my god, that only Kanchika got the German medal. Ach du Scheiße, this could be really hard. I'm scared. This could be big top, top, top action again. Holy shit, why is this so fast? Uh -huh. Oh, what is this? How did he drive to the GPS? Didn't pay attention. Should have, maybe. at full speed okay cool map though I hope it's gonna be wait what the hell this is easy huh? Heck. I didn't even do this full speed here top two first finish yeah <laughs> was also a bit surprised to be honest I thought I would be like I don't know point three point four too slow with that run but apparently Ah, oh, I slide from this transition. Okay, easy world record though. Sorry, Kanchika, but this one I have to uh, take into my bank account. Yeah, the tapping does gain a little bit, but it's just all about this one turn here, like this. Okay, we take it though. Nice. A lot more possible in theory. Okay, five more maps, guys. Hard landings. The car can tilt forward during drops. You can control this by steering right before the drop, uh, then holding counter steering after all wheels of the car leave the road. Uh, basically like, uh, you know, counter steer in the air, as you also sometimes use it with stadium car. You did it too early when the car starts spinning with air. The more speed you have, the less likely it is to completely over tilt your car. A little forward is fine. Don't do this trick if you don't notice the speed loss. Okay, we're going in. Oh, that is a hard last turn. Holy shit. Where was GPS time? Why is it... Why, why do they always make such hard endings on these maps? We spent 30 minutes, jeepers. Is it possible to get this fully clean? Like, seems very hard. Yeah, I told you. Need to survive the ending once and I'm fast enough. Yeah. Okay, got it though. Next up, 22. What's this? 
We didn't have a full speed map yet. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello, guys. My name is Nico, and I can see the future. <coughs> yeah, full speed. We're going in. Yeah, tap, 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 tap. Amazing. Okay, we're going in. Let's see. And hello, Naboil. Okay. Yep, that ending I will have to do with keyboard most likely. Classic. Okay, almost 18. When 18 is pretty fast to be honest. How do you do a point eighteen? Okay, I just did a full keyboard run and for some reason it was faster again. Understandable. I love keyboard. Next. <laughs> Twenty three Elements of RPG. Try to take quarter uh, quarter jumps low. Bumpers will make your car jump. Keep straight and consider the landing. Red boosts are completely unpredictable with desert car if you steer even just a little. Steering on red boost makes uh, might make the vehicle tilt so much it will bump against the road and throw itself off the track. Okay, interesting. Okay, so quarter pipe here. RPG reference, last time one. Yeah. Okay, there was two of them. Oh. Ah, okay, interesting. Shouldn't be too hard. It's just about the two quarter pipes, I think. But it's landing here, what the hell? Am I supposed to make that clean? Probably. Nine. Oh my god, this last quarter pipe. We barely have any uh, room to work with. Seventy six. Okay, we're getting there. I tried wheel for a few days for the hell of it. Holy crap! Even more respect. You're on another level. Yeah, thank you, man. I hope you uh, enjoyed it a little bit still. Uh, it's definitely hard to get used to it, but it's just a general in Japan, yeah. And suck. Okay, sixty seven. Also more possible here, but we got it. Okay, only missing two maps, and on these two maps, I think nobody has champion medal if I understood it correctly. Or at least Kanchika doesn't. What is this one about? Why is this one so XCD? Expert Dirt. Driver Lolo Max. 1905. Okay, Expert Dirt. Yeah, we've seen. Oh my god, let's see how it uh, looks horrible. What the hell? Ach du Scheiße. Okay, so just very uh, awkward dirt. Let's see. Ay, ay, ay. The 
should be doable, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, nice Jacke. Easy peasy. That's what the videos are for. Next to being entertaining. <laughs> Playtime was six hours cheaper. Yeah, nice grinding done. Nice grind set. What the hell is this map? It's fucking horrendous to drive. Crime, honestly, yeah. Ah. This is how you get people to hate desert, yeah. I mean, if you place dirt blocks like this, not a single car would be like fun to drive on it. Rally car would, I guess, be fine, but stadium car would be horrible. Snow car would be horrible. Desert is horrible. Makabatches, ey. Should be doable, though. My what the hell, man? I cannot survive this first turn anymore. <sighs> Three players on the car actually steers, yeah. The stadium car is a fucking boat in comparison to original cars, that's true. Okay, got it. Not too hard, but very fucking awkward map. Holy moly, eh. And with that, we only have one map left, ladies and gentlemen. And the final map is, of course, always a long technical XDD map. So there will be a ghost by Lolomax. Okay. Yeah, should I watch it or should we just go and drive? Let's just drive, to be honest. Amazing. I love these blocks. Yeah. Okay. So basically the theme of this map is, for those of you that don't know, it's basically to combine everything that you have learned before. So all of the parts, like all of the previous maps tricks are combined on this one long map here. So that's what this is here. So just because of the length of the map, this will of course uh, take a bit. Well, let's see. Time-wise, it shouldn't be too hard, looking at the record. Great. Two-wheeled over the booster, so I didn't get any of the effect gunner. What do you mean, four seconds at? 
four seconds ahead of what? Okay, this part here is giga important. You can keep that speed all the way through here. Nah, I forgot. I hate these castle blocks from Rally. I really dislike them. They're so bumpy and they're so blind. I just don't see where to go. I don't see what's coming up. I only see fucking castle walls. Ah, I didn't get the two little speed pools. <sighs> Thing is, I am too slow on this map and I cannot survive a run. So even my coping timers are too slow. That's like really bad. One of that would be fine if I'm either too slow or, you know, just crashing. But I'm too slow and I'm crashing all the time. That is really bad. I will make this very, very awkward to run. I can keep so much more speed here in theory, but I just don't get the turn. Yeah. I this, ma this part is so bad, man. Like, what am I supposed to do here? I cannot go like this. Like, no matter what I'm doing, it's bad. It has to be something like this, but every single try, I'm failing it. What a horrible part. Man, 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 man. Always getting there, crashing there. And then I'm mad. It's <laughs> my story of this map. I survived, but it's slow as fuck. That's not gonna be enough, though. Or is it? Oh, it actually is. Okay. Oh, thank God we are done. What the hell, man? Okay, all champion medals within two hours again. Ah, oh, but this map was annoying uh, in general. There were some very annoying maps here. Not gonna lie. Holy moly. Let's compare with the world record. <coughs> Let's see what he's doing. Different. Way more insight here. Okay, this is normal. Not going full speed here either. I'm paying them probably this turn here a lot better than what I had. I actually also looked very shaky. <laughs> but what is he doing here now? Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. I just do know. But okay. Peng, peng. Peng, peng. Also a bit shaky here. Not even, not sure why he gained point eight on me with that ma uh, with that run. But okay, very XTD map. Okay, we are done though. Two hours, two minutes. We got all champion medals. And with that, we got all 75. And I am very, I'm 100% certain that we are the first one to get all champion medals. Because, uh, yeah, already on desert. Not everybody has all of them. So, uh, not anybody has all of them. And I also have the ones on the other maps. So we are actually 100% done with the original school. Uh, I'm not sure if they will be releasing more campaigns in the future. If so, I will play them. Not that, yeah. That's just how it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed the, the original school. Make sure to check out the club yourself if you want to learn a bit more about the new cars. And I hope you enjoyed. And uh, tschüssi mit Uzi.